Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching the video. Anyway, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. Existing subscribers, thank you for your support. New subscribers or potential subscribers, please like and share. Um, and even existing subscribers, don't just look at my videos, do share them so other people can get to know the information, especially if you feel it is useful. Anyway, this video is mainly for EU citizens who hold a British passport. Now, we all know that Boris is forging ahead and it looks like there's not going to be a deal, even though the MPs are trying to do everything to make sure there is a deal by the 19th of October. We all know what the outcome is likely to be. So, for those of you EU citizens who hold a British passport, if you haven't already applied, there's no guarantee that you're going to get your passport within the time frame before the 31st of October and that's going to affect any travel. It's going to cause problems. So um, I'm sure the majority of you must have been um, panicking and doing whatever you can to make sure your passport is valid. It must have at least six months validity otherwise you're not going to be able to travel. Well to the EU. I think if you want to travel to other countries, it may be okay, but to the EU, you have to have at least six months validity on your passport. I think there was at one point when people were renewing an old passport that they actually got extra months, but those extra months will not work towards the six months um, that you need to have on, on your passport. Um, the countries um, that are going to be affected, let me just read them out to you. Um, it's going to be apply the new rules apply to travel to and from Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Greece, Italy, Holland, Portugal, Spain and Sweden. They do not apply to people who are travelling from the UK to Ireland. If you've provided the Home Office with a mobile number, you'll get a text message with an update. Um, and if you've applied for your passport today, there's no guarantee you're going to get it by the 31st of October. This is a bloody nightmare. It's The no deal is a big deal for people um, for the EU citizens who hold British passports or who are in this country and who may not have got their papers sorted out in time. Like they say, it's going to be like a second windrush. I mean, they, they bandy that word windrush. It's not, uh, it's not a word to be used lightly. All windrush means is the Commonwealth citizens that came here during a certain period of time and they were penalised because they didn't have documentation that they didn't need in the first place. And a lot of them were booted out, detained um, in, in detention centres, de illegally deported. So, yeah, they need to find another name for it. I really don't like the idea that um, Windrushians are being scapegoated. And now the EUs, they're trying to say that people from the EU are going to end up like the Windrush people. They need to just get their affairs in order and do, do what's right by people. You know, these people, it's not their fault that the politicians can't come to a decision. It's not their fault that the politicians don't want a deal. But they will say it is our fault because we voted for Brexit. And they are honouring the people's vote. That's what they'll say. So anyway, um, I hope the majority of you have got your affairs sorted out. I hope the majority of you have managed to get your passports updated. I'm hoping that most of you have managed to get your applications um, finalised. Because anyone who's got applications at the Home Office pending there's going to be a lot of problems. Even people who are legally in the country, we talk, they keep talking about this amnesty, and they're making it look like um, 
it's still going through. I mean, I listened to a video today that was seven hours, put on seven hours ago, and it was saying, oh, great, you know, 500,000 illegal immigrants are going to get amnesty. I, I always look for three sources of information to corroborate anything that I'm going to speak about, and I couldn't find anything. All I could find was stuff all the way back in July that Boris... Johnson had talked about back then. I haven't seen no recent news apart from that YouTube. So that's why it's very important, folks. I mean, I know we all, I'm a YouTuber or a social influencer or whatever you call it. And, you know, a lot of us, we try to help where we can. But it's so easy for people to be misinformed. So always don't just take the word of us vloggers, me included always look for two other sources. Normally, they say, if you get three sources that say the same thing, you're more or less on the right track. I do try to do that. I try to get one source from one place, another source from another. And anytime somebody gives me something, I always try to look it up to make sure that the information is valid. So like I said, that... Um, that video that came up today, I think it's got 274,000 views and it's it's not even correct. And so what, what it's doing is raising people's hopes and vulnerable people is making them even more vulnerable. So just be careful what you listen to, what you watch. I think everybody's, well, I'd like to think people have got good intentions when they um, speak on these videos and they vlog but you don't know the motivations behind people um, behind people doing these kind of things. So anyway, this is just to let um, EU citizens with British passports or who have applied for British passports know that um, if you haven't put your passport in um, by now, you might not get it by the 31st. I can imagine the thousands that have applied. And also, if you've got less than six months validity on it, it's going to affect your travel plans. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.